Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about front and back end in Compiler Designer. This is very simple concept, uh, but why we are making a separate video is uh, in order to make you understand an important point in Java programming language. That's why we are making a separate video for this uh, front and back end. Uh, for understanding this uh, uh, concept, uh, you have to uh, watch our previous class phases of compiler. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Uh, so these are the phases of compiler, lexical phase, syntax phase, semantics phase, intermediate code generation phase. All these discussions were made uh, previous class. This part we call it as front end or we can call it as analysis part. So uh, you give the source program, it is going to convert up to here. This we call it as a sim syntax. Uh, this is called, we call it as analysis part or front end part. Uh, in this phase, it is going to generate the symbol table and combining these two, whatever the, the output it has uh, generated here and the symbol table is sent to the code generator. Code generator is going to use this uh, and it is going to generate the code optima. It will, it will generate some machine dependent code means uh, whatever this machine is going to machine means our architecture our CPU is going to understand the language uh, it is going to convert to that language uh, and it, it, it will be optimized uh, optimizer uh, and the final output will be given this is what we call it as back end we call it as synthesis part uh, analysis part synthesis part uh, up to here it's very easy to understand then the important point you have to understand here is uh, in our java programming language we we discuss that java is a platform independent uh, why how it become platform independent uh, let's try to understand here java after compiling we get intermediate code whenever you compile the java program you compile the program in your system you compile the program in any other system you compile the program in server any other servers or any system it is going to after compilation it is going to generate an object code that we call it as byte code that is whatever our intermediate code which is going to be generated you compile it anywhere get that intermediate code that object code you send it as a input to the java virtual machine you should have jvm if you don't have this jdk kit for compilation no problem if you have the jvm you compile the program anywhere and get that compiled code intermediate code if you send it to jvm it is going to convert it into the language that is understandable by your system your machine java virtual machine is going to that is how it became platform independent you can compile anywhere and get that code execute in your system that is how it become platform independent in order to make you understand this we are making this video hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you